Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to try to explain a very complicated part in, of COVID-19 and some of the rules and employee implications that these rules have. The rule I want to talk about is EPSLA, and that's the Emergency Paid Sick Leave Act. As many of you know, the Emergency Paid Sick Leave Act is an act that allows for full-time employees to get two weeks of paid sick leave for up to 80 hours. Um, an employee qualifies for EPSLA if they are subject to a quarantine or isolation order or experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, or they are seeking a COVID-19 medical di diagnosis or have been ordered to self-quarantine. So if COVID-19 is happening to you, you get full pay for two weeks under EPSLA. A very fine line of this law is that if you are caring for someone else who has COVID, you also qualify for EPSLA, up to two weeks or 80 hours of EPSLA. But a very fine um, distinction here is if you are caring for someone um, and qualify for EPSLA, you only get two thirds of your pay. So let me repeat that. If COVID is happening to you, you qualify for EPSLA and you get 100% of your pay. If you are caring for someone else, a son or a daughter um, that has um, COVID or has been quarantined, you only get two thirds of your pay. Let me take a scenario that could happen in our organization. So let's say we have a person who lives in Bronson and their children go to school in Bronson schools. Bronson schools are offering five days of face-to-face -face instruction. They are also offering a remote option. If you choose for your children to have the remote option at Bronson schools, the fully remote option, you do not qualify for EPSLA because essentially your child's school is open for instruction. Let me take another scenario. Same um, same organization, person works for Branch ISD, but they live in Coldwater and their children go to Coldwater schools. Their children um, go to school face-to-face -face two days a week, but are at home with remote instruction three days a week. So essentially, their school is closed to their children for three days a week. Th that person would qualify for EPSLA for three days, not for five days. So we would have make possibly the same position, different people, and one way may qualify for EPSLA and one may not qualify for EPSLA. We know these are very complicated situations and um, we just wanna assure everyone that everyone's individual situation will be looked at. We will try to apply all the leaves that the federal government has offered to us. Um, we'll try to provide them in a fair and consistent way but each situation will be unique. And I just want to say to everyone, although we are facing the same storm, we are all not in the same boats. Um, we're all at different spots. Um, we have different situations and every situation will be looked at individually. So thank you for your time. If you have any questions or want more clarification about EPSLA, um, please let me know and I will try to investigate the questions. Thank you. Have a great day.